They loaded up the bus and headed north, bringing local concerns to Sacramento lawmakers. Hello, I'm Carol Rock with your SCV News Break for Thursday, March 22nd. Just what Sacramento needs is a busload of informed people with hard questions. And that's just what participants in the 7th Annual KHTS Sacramento Bus Trip delivered, meeting with more than a dozen legislators, department heads, and the governor himself. The group discussed budget shortfalls, the demise of redevelopment, school funding, film tax credits, and the proposed high-speed rail project. Brown shared some of the group's frustrations, but also advised them to be optimistic. So I just want to tell you, this is as bad as you might think, and it's not going to be as good as you might want, because that's just the way life is. And when you get to be my age, you'll understand that. The group of 80 people included 17 school administrators and board members, Mayor Lori Ender and Councilwoman Marsha McLean, water agency officials, business owners, and nonprofit executives. After the break, California Community College Chancellor Dr. Jack Scott addresses looming budget cuts in Pasadena. This SCV News Break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. It's Toyota's number one for everyone sales event. It's a great chance to save big on our most popular models. Recently, Tundra was ranked the most dependable large pickup for the seventh straight year. And right now, for a limited time, you can get 0% APR financing on a new 2012 Tundra. Plus, drive with the peace of mind that comes with Toyota Care, a complimentary maintenance plan with roadside assistance. With the season's best deals, I'd hurry in for this one. The great savings won't last long. Don't miss out. This SCV News Break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. The American Red Cross has awarded the Platinum Achievement Award to Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital for collecting 520 units of blood last year. Henry Mayo partners with the American Red Cross to host six blood drives each year, and blood collected at Henry Mayo is used here in Santa Clarita. The hospital's next blood drive will be on Thursday, April 5th, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the Clinical Education Center on the hospital's campus. To make an appointment, call 661-253-8888. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center is a local nonprofit organization that provides health care to uninsured Santa Clarita residents, has received a $175,000 grant from the California Community Foundation. The CFF is a charitable fund based in Los Angeles. This year is distributing nearly $1.6 million in grants to 16 L.A. County nonprofits. Assemblyman Jeff Gurrell, who represents Castaic, may be on active duty in Afghanistan, but his office staff has been working hard on five bills addressing veterans' issues that have been raised in his absence. Assemblyman Paul Cook of Yucca Valley introduced the bills to meet legislative deadlines. If approved, the bills will make it easier for troops to vote, help veterans obtain state employment, create a one-stop shop for accessing service and benefits, and helps military police officers qualify for local law enforcement departments. Gorell is expected to help the bills through the legislature when he returns in a few weeks. California community colleges will suffer a 16% budget cut this year. Chancellor Dr. Jack Scott explained why community colleges across the state have reduced classes and what is to be expected over the next budget cycle during a State of the State forum Thursday in Pasadena. Our fees are, are not running as high as we thought they would. That's the tuition we pay because so many of our students now own Board of Governors waiver. And then also the property tax one is high. So we're doing the best we can to present our plight. Santa Clarita's College of the Canyons is expected to take a $1.9 million cut for the 2012-13 fiscal year. How the state budget is affecting municipal services in L.A. County will be the focus of the fourth annual State of the County Luncheon. Supervisor Michael D'Antonovich will be the keynote speaker at the event, scheduled May 2nd at the Valencia Hyatt. The State of the County Luncheon is being hosted by the Santa Clarita Valley and Castaic Chambers of Commerce. Tickets are $50, and you can reserve your seat on or before April 30th through the SCV Chamber at 661-702-6977. Another sunny and warm day today in Santa Clarita. Highs top today topped out in the upper 70s, but we've got cooler temperatures and maybe even some rain on the way. Friday, we'll see temps in the mid-60s with a bit of morning fog that should clear out before lunchtime. 
Cool temperatures are expected to stick around on Saturday, and then we could probably see some rain Sunday with highs in the mid-50s. This Friday, the Santa Clarita Shakespeare Festival will present a 40-minute original adaptation of Romeo and Juliet for Valencia High 9th graders, allowing them to experience the classic in a fresh and relatable way. This is the inaugural performance for the festival's education outreach program, which is dedicated to keeping art programming and classic literature alive in the schools and help students experience Shakespeare as it was meant to be experienced. With Shakespeare, it's important that it's seen and heard. He was written to have his language and his scenes watched by people. The festival is also holding a wine tasting fundraiser Sunday, which will allow people to experience fine wines and Shakespeare's monologues, learning a little bit about both in the process. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carol Rock. This SCV News Break is brought to you in part by Frontier Toyota. Are you all-you-can-eat kind of hungry? Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an endless feast of your favorite Asian and American cuisine. Sizzling hibachi cooked right in front of your eyes. Fresh, delicious sushi, succulent crab legs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an all-you-can-eat weekday lunch for just $9.99. Not in the mood for seafood? No problem. From steamy chow mein, tangy barbecue chicken, and savory roast, we've got your cravings covered. Visit Kyoto Seafood Buffet in the Big Lot Shopping Center on Soledad Canyon Road.